If you look at a population density map of Mars, something you'll quickly notice is that despite its proximity to Valles Marineris and the tallest mountain in the solar system, basically no one lives around the Tharsis Manes. So why is that? The biggest reason is water. Tharsis simply doesn't have anywhere near enough water to sustain large population centers, but there are some other factors at play. This is a map of which parts of Mars have the best soil. As you can see here, the blue areas line up very clearly with some of the most populous regions of Mars as of 2287, like Acidalia Planitia, Sirtis Major, the Hellas Basin, Utopia Planitia, and most of all, the Mariner Valleys, whereas nearby Tharsis has just about the worst soil on the planet, alongside Olympus Mons, but they at least have a bit of a tourist thing going on. What this means is that, even though all Mars soil is equally toxic without proper filtering, these areas have much higher amounts of important metals and minerals like calcium, potassium, chloride, and iron, which are all important for agriculture. Finally, Tharsis is also much higher in elevation than many of the other regions I mentioned, with the much thinner air providing far less protection from solar radiation. So even with temperatures reaching a balmy 0 degrees Celsius, the Tharsis rise was simply one of the worst parts of the planet for early settlers to colonize. So hopefully this has given you a better understanding of why Mars was settled the way it was, and how- Wait, what do you mean this is being broadcast to the 21st century? What? Why didn't you tell me it's still a 250 years to make this video? Well, anyway, happy April Fool's Day, and subscribe to Canubis for more geography and history videos, usually in the correct time period.